as we come out of the summer season, you are no longer going to be dealing with weeds such as crabgrass, Dallas grass, goose grass, nut sedge, and even spurge. You're going to deal with another set of weeds that is going to germinate in the fall. Yes, weeds are going to germinate in cooler temperatures and these weeds are called winter weeds. Now these winter weeds are going to be weeds like henbit, chickweed, hairy bittercress, wild onions, and annual bluegrass, just to name a few. Now winter weeds can grow in unhealthy lawns, especially in lawns that have open areas. Now according to where you're located at and your temperatures, these weeds are going to start germinating in September and October as temperatures start to cool. Now you may see a couple of winter weeds that may be lingering in your landscaping beds or they may be in your lawn right now. If you do see those weeds, just go ahead and hand pull them or use a special herbicide so you can be able to spot spray those weeds. But typically, when you will visually see these winter weeds, it's going to be in the beginning of the year, which is January, February, and March. And of course, that's going to be according on where you live and what your temperatures are at that time. Now, the pre-emergence that most people will typically use is going to be prodiamine, dithiapyr, and pendimethylin. Now, all of these pre-emergence are going to come in a liquid or a granular form. So whichever one that you are most comfortable using, you have the option to be able to use that. Just make sure that as soon as you put this pre-emergent into your lawn, whether you're using a liquid or granular, that you water it in. Now, normally whenever I put a pre-emergent down in my lawn, I'm waiting for my soil temperatures to get at least at 70 degrees. Now, notice I said soil temperatures, not air temperatures. And this doesn't matter if you have a warm season lawn like Bermuda grass or you have a cool season lawn like tall fescue or Kentucky bluegrass. Now, some people will put a pre-emergent down in their lawn based on a calendar schedule, meaning they'll always throw a pre-emergent down in September or even October. And this is perfectly fine depending on where you live and what your temperatures are. For example, if you live in Chicago or even in Cleveland, you're going to be throwing down a pre-emergent earlier than someone that lives in Tennessee or even Georgia. Another example is this. If you are a homeowner, you're going to have way more flexibility to be able to put a pre-emergent down in your lawn versus someone who is a contractor that is taking care of several lawns. Now, if you are a contractor, it may behoove you to be able to go on a calendar-based schedule, especially if you have several lines that you have to take care of, because it may take you one week, two weeks, or even three weeks to be able to make all of those applications, and you don't want to miss your window where you can already have winter weeds germinating in your lawn. Now, if you don't deal with any of these weeds in your lawn and you've never seen any of these weeds, then don't worry about putting down a pre-emergent. Before I had the intruder invade my lawn and put a pre-emergent down in my lawn that particular year, I hadn't put a pre-emergent down going on three years. And the reason why is because I know how my lawn is, I take care of my lawn, and my lawn is naturally thick. Now, if you've seen these weeds before in your lawn, whether you've seen them in February, March, or even April, and you do not apply a pre-emergent right now, chances are you're going to see these weeds again. So I hope this information has helped you all about putting the fall pre-emergent in your lawn. This is Polo from Polo Fields Lawn Service. Y'all have a blessed one, and I'll see y'all in the next one.